So this is how you mount your lock. It will be now ready. And when it comes, it comes with the default of one, two, three, four, five, six pound, which is the default password. And the way it works, you have to either stomp here. You will see on the back here, you have a little hole here. You have something that says reset. So you just pin something in. And at that point, you would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. But since I already did it, I will put my fingerprint for now. And it will reset the system. So that would be three. And I will hit on pound. And you reset everything, completely everything. I already set it up, but you're gonna reset just so that I can make a demonstration for you on how to now add a new device on your uh, app. Now let's go to the next step. Now on your new device, you have finished mounting it. This is the new device, it's a new setup, the new system. What you're gonna do over here is you wake up by touching the screen, okay? This button gets you out until, I mean the, the, st the star, and you touch it to bring it back to wake up the screen first and you will gonna want to do one and pound and over here what you want to do is one two three four five six pound and you will enter into the menu and here you will hit on one and you will hit again on one and then what you're going to do next after doing one one is to hit pound to generate a user and the fingerprint will be one to add a tag like the satellite power tag it will be two and three for code so we're going to do one so you're going to now screen your fingerprint your fingerprint not the tip but your fingerprint and see us how i do this way this way this way and this way four times once it's uh, once it's done successful i want to use another admin all i all i have to do is to hit again pound and at this point here i will want to add on the tag meaning the key fob so i'm gonna do two and all i do is swipe it all done and if I want to also add one of our satellite power watch, you want to add your satellite power watch. All you do is you hit again this and you simply, okay, hit on two. And here you will just put your satellite power watch on it and ready to open this door with your watch. So we're gonna do a new admin. So we hit on pound to generate. Then we're gonna do three to add the code. So we're gonna choose six digit and pound. One, two, three, four, five, six and pound. We're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six and pound. And then we all in. At this point, we can either add a new admin or go back out of the menu which will be one two three to get out of the menu now we have this setup it has it works completely without wi-fi currently there is no wi-fi connected i can open the door okay and it's completely uh open and capable to work without wi-fi now a little secret that i want to share with you before we connect to the wi-fi is over here once i unlock the door if i use i register this side but if i use this one it won't work look so you want to make sure that whatever you register your fingerprint that's where you utilize it if i use the tip it won't work so it is the portion of your fingerprint register that you need to utilize so let's use where we have done unlock so if it doesn't work for you make sure that is the proper place that you have registered now once the system is unlocked like 
look this one you can do what we call passage mode you unlock it and while it is unlocked it shows a zero you press the zero you hold it down until it goes to one and the passage mode is enabled what it means is that the lock will not lock itself until you manually come in and lock it back okay and now to get back to select 1 or 20 or 5 10 15 or 20 second what you do is you first what you do to select how many seconds you want it to work I mean to auto lock you first unlock it okay and then at that point when the screen comes back the zero stop you touch the screen quickly and you hit two and you hold it that will be 10 seconds so count and over here I will unlock it so you can see as I unlock it I selected the two or the three depending you will see it will be blanking for 5, 10, 15 or 20 seconds depending on all which one you, you selected until it locks back itself so let's see that will be by 15 seconds and locks back if you want to do 5 seconds what you do is you unlock first you have to be an admin to do so and uh, once you unlock it the zero gives you the opportunity to hold this one and to set it up as a passage mode which means the door will not automatically lock until you manually lock it once you do so it goes back to auto lock automatically so let's do that again so over here we're gonna choose on the one when the one is set up to lock on five seconds if I unlock it five seconds after it will go back to lock now this is what it is for this side here now once you have done so how do you put this one on your streaming meaning on your app well you go to your app and you want to download the app so you're gonna download the app that is called you want to search it in your google play or apple store uh, app store and search for smart life it is named smart life smart living once you open this one you will have an option over here to add a new one but before you do that you want to go to your unit you wake up the unit by just touching the screen and then you do two pound and you put your fingerprint as admin or your code or your card it of it of it of the one that you have set up as admin so let's do the fingerprint now the file will be blanking to say that it's ready now to synchronize we want to go to our phone and make sure that we connect to the 2.4 gigahertz so we're gonna go here I'm gonna say add device and you have a device here ready to be added and I'm gonna hit on this one And over here you will add your password and your Wi-Fi and you go next it will take just a couple seconds and boom ready and now you're gonna update the time so we can rename it just here you will update the time and also show successful. successful. Everything successful. Now we can go and ring the doorbell and look over here. So we have this one, we open it, we can see the person who is at the door right here. So the sound is uh, eventually, and you're going to slide and hold and then release, and the door is open. So I need to make sure 
that I replaced my battery but other than that we are good and ready and on the top over here we're gonna now put back our cover which is the last step you have two groove over here that you just slide in and now you are able to put your screw you all down now the last secret i want to show you is this button over here on the bottom here you see the button so this button over here once it's triggered it will trigger the secure lock, secure lock what it means is that even if somebody has a code to enter and the person is not an admin it won't work so let's do a test so over here now let's see let's use the the, the passcode it tells you secure lock is enabled that's how you know that there is a code that can access but because the code is not an admin it won't go through if this is disabled and we use the same code It unlocks the door now you can hear anytime the battery is low it will alert you a good while before it completely dies on you so you have time to change the battery by simply coming over here and the top removing this screw that you have here removing the screw right here and it takes four AA battery so I'm gonna replace them so what I recommend is like long-lasting shelves battery life what it means is that if you don't use those battery they will still last remaining keeping the same charge for a long time so you want to pay attention to which type of battery you're utilizing so we're gonna put our batteries in the one I'm using is from Sam's Club which is a little better than some of them uh, you don't have to use that but just make sure that the shelf life is long enough so if you don't use a battery and they sit around they will not just die okay now you're gonna update the time set it up everything and be ready to use so we will wait a little bit for it to update the time after we there you go it takes not that long and over here we can put back our cover there you go so we have now everything screwed in that's pretty much how you utilize your new satellite power and inside the app if you want to add somebody in all you got to do you go on the member and you hit on the plus here and add something somebody and uh, that's pretty much what you do uh, you have here all the different uh, logs and logs whenever you have access to the system here is if you want to associate a uh, specific uh, unlocking system so here I'm gonna associate this one to the admin and I'm gonna say yes which is my fingerprint so whenever I use my fingerprint if it's not associated he gonna just let the system know there is something to be associated and I'm gonna go back and that's pretty much how it works over here smart linkage what it means is that when you trigger this one you can take also a kind of like a, um, a trigger so you can trigger the door al alarm and you can say once it's triggered I want simply to have it connected what you, what you want it to be triggered like what push you want to be triggered so you will select all those over here you can deselect them and you will have the time to just go through it and see a little bit how it works but other than that that's the overall and hope that you have a great day watching the video thank you for watching make sure to subscribe satellite power lab open to the future